Hi everybody, and today the exiled yellow belly is a bit off the beaten track. I got told that um, Markgate was the place to come and uh, do some underground exploration. So today, here I am. So, this is the entrance to the Shell Grotto in Margate and I am just about to go down the stairs to uh, investigate. There are apparently 70 feet of chalk tunnel before we actually get to the Shell Grotto itself. So when we get to the grotto itself, I will tell you the story of what they actually know about it so far. So we'll just go round this corner. As we get round this corner, we should start to see the shells. Wow. Now, wow, that's all I can say to start off with. I wasn't really uh, expecting this at all. This is pretty amazing. Now, I'm just going to go round and have a bit of a look before I say anything and then I will well this this is much more amazing than I actually thought it was going to be I must say but um, I will um, start talking about how the caves or the, the grotto came to be when the grotto was discovered by accident in 1835 it was a complete surprise to the people of Margate. To this day, nobody knows who built this amazing place or why. Was it an ancient temple, a meeting place for a secret saint, or was it just someone's folly? Nobody knows, but everybody agrees that the 2,000 square feet of 4.6 million cockle, whelk, mussel and oyster shells in swirling patterns is indeed a work of art. The earliest reference to the finding of the grotto appears in the Kentish Gazette of 22nd of May 1938. The grotto's discovery were described simply as a gentleman, after having purchased Bellevue Cottage in 1835, was making alterations which included excavations. During this, the workman found a large stone. Removing the stone resulted in discovering the grotto. So this is the part of the Shell Grotto in Margate that is known as the Altar Room and all kinds of things, photo over here, uh, seances, etc., were performed here. So, and as I say, nobody knows who built it or when it was done, but it's a very interesting little place. All these shells on the walls, it's pretty amazing. Now, as you have seen, I've just left the altar room and you're probably wondering why there is a big mural of a seance on the back wall. Well, that wall, too, was once also covered in thousands of shells, but a direct hit on the house above the wall by a German Luftwaffe bomber destroyed the wall during the Second World War. As we continue our walk around the grotto, one of the questions that has always been asked is, how did anyone keep bringing barrow after barrow of shells to this site undetected. Now looking up, this is the dome. Now I don't know but I'm guessing I would imagine on top of this hole is where the workman in 1835 encountered the large stone which when removed unearthed the grotto. Now we are back in the chalk tunnel on our way back to the exit. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Margate Shell Grotto and if you have then please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and ding the bell for further notifications. Thank you so much and see you again soon.